Hello everyone, welcome to the motor yard. The Marauders versus the Steamrollers here, game number 109 of Cheese League Baseball. Thank you so much for joining us. Flavio Yoff on the mound today for the Marauders. Damian Hale gets the start for the home team Steamrollers. And here we have Lila Quinto leading us off. The Marauders. And she gets a base hit up the middle. That's how the game starts. Now the third Brady McLongthrope steps in. Number 46. Runner on first here. Nope, that's off the base. See Hale, kind of a no frills pitcher. Four seamer, two seamer. And a change up. And that one's hit into right field. Base hit. And runner's going for three. Be in there safely, so good heads up base running by Quinto. Joaquin Buck steps in. And runners in the corners here. Runner goes. And McLaughlin steals second. The 2 1 now. And hit into right field. One run comes home. They're sending her. Played the plate, she's out. Now batting, the shortstop, number 29. So the Marauders only able to get one run there. Inside. So one out, Tucker Gentry steps in with a runner on first. Nope, that's low. I have a feeling this is going to be an exciting game, folks. That's inside. Three and one on Gentry. That one's by the way. Count. And he walks him. Pretty close there. The tough, tough pitch to take. Now Liu steps in. Center fielder for the Marauders. Inside. Off the plate. 2 1 pitch to Liu. There's a ball. 3 and 1. Awful. So the bases are loaded. Stetson Fuller. One out. Here in the top of the first. Hale is battling already. Popped up. Oh, that might. No, no, it's not good. Pace is there. I actually thought that that might drop into shallow left field. Now two outs. Wilder Plow steps in. Number seven hitter for the Marauders. Grounds to Proctor for the final out. So the Marauders leave the bases juiced. They get one run and go to the bottom of the first. The home team steamrollers. Kurt Johnston leads it off. And pops that one up. Quick first out here. Jericho doesn't roll, steps in. Grounds it right back to Yoff. Right the second out. And Banjo Green steps in now. The three hitter, and he pops it up. Tater Pepperonis is there to put it away for the uh, final out of the inning. Very, very quick. <laughs> now the Stark contrast to the top of the first. And it will be Tater Pepperonis who leads it off here. Wow. Top of the second. That one's hit back toward the booth. 0-2. Oh Pepperonis down on strikes. Now the catcher. Rollers have one of the better rotations nope. in Cheese League Baseball, I would say, in terms of Strikeouts there. They got some strikeout pitchers. See Damian Hill, 16 Ks on the season. Among the leaders in that. That one's grounded and batted. Or hit the bat. Second out. Lila Quinto steps in. Leadoff hitter. Pops that one up. Madden puts it away for the final out. Marauders go down in order. 
part of the order due up now for the steamrollers. And Proctor leads it off here. Hitting 360, three homers, 14 RBIs. Having a heck of a good season. Let's take a look here at Yoff. Four seamer, two seamer, slider, curve. And he walks Proctor. Yoff is one and one on the season. Number three. Now it's hit right back up the middle. Base hit. Shepard Pace steps in now. And he drops down a bunt. And it's kind of kicked around by Cochran. They get him at first, though. Good, good move there by Shepard Pace. Moves up those runners now. Hudson Hopkins steps in. And that one's hit the long throw. With the second out, the run comes home. And it's a tie ball game. There's the Arx Madden steps in now. Runner on second, two outs. Grabs the pepperonis for the final out. Nick Long throw a buck and gentry, two, three, and four. Two up for the Marauders now. Number 46. Top of the third. This is the battle of the first place teams here, folks. Nope, outside. outside to McLaughlin. Swings it over that one. Two and two. Strike. And got her. Good pitching there from Hale. The Marauders are 13 and 8. They're tied for first in the Pepper Jack division. Inside. The Rollers are 12 and 9. They sit atop the Cheddar division. Full game lead as of right now, as of this recording. As that one is hit very high and very far, does that have the distance? It does, it sneaks over the wall. The biggest part of the ballpark, 412 foot shot, Joaquin Buck, six homer, and 12th RBI of the season. Now battle, the short start. And like that, the Marauders take the 2 1 lead. Tucker Gentry steps in. Madden for the second out. The center fielder, number four. Xerox Liu steps in. Two Xerox today. Xerox Liu and Xerox Madden. Apparently it's a common name here in Super Mega Baseball 3. That one's hit the Rocket for the final out. Nine, one, and two do up here. Bottom of the third, the home team steamrollers. Kai Best steps in and hits that one. Right to Buck. Foot first out. Now batting. Number 11. Kurt Johnson steps up there. that one away. And that one's hit very hard, but right up Buck and well. For the second out. Top of the order now. Or, uh, sorry, not top of the order. Number two hitter. Jericho doesn't lose. Fouls that one down the left field line. And another foul ball. 0 oh 2. Doesn't roll. Try to get him to chase outside. Shattered bat. Foul ball. No chance there for anyone. Nope, inside. The 2-2. Two -two. Got him. Dozen rolls down on strikes. Good pitch there. So we go to the top of the fourth. Six, seven, and eight do up for the Marauders. Number 50. Stetson Fuller leads it off. That one's hit. Well. But Crane is there. Snag it. Now batting, the right fielder, number one. The first out. Wilder Plows now steps in. I say these teams are so evenly matched. Inside. 
Definitely a gonna be a close game all throughout. Let's see Proctor for the second out. Tater Pepperoni steps in now. Tater Pepperoni. He's definitely stepped it up throughout the season. Now hitting 259. He was definitely around the Mendoza line earlier. That's down. Yeah. Three balls. Yeah, there's a strike. Hale's working back. It's fouled away. We'll count to Pepperoni. That's a foul ball down the left field line. Foul ball. Foul ball. And another foul. And reset. Popped up. Banjo Crane camps under it. Three, four, and five, two up now for the home team Steelers. The right fielder, number 19. And Banjo Crane shatters his bat. Proctor steps in. He off it. 26 pitches here in the bottom of the fourth. That's pretty darn good. That's foul. That's foul right at the plate. Oh, and two on Proctor. Got her. Pitching here. Probably a yacht. He's really, really eager to get that second win of the season. He's got a pretty darn good ERA there, too. 3.45. It's not bad. Chuck Rockett fouls that one off. Is it a high strike? And got him. I would argue that one. That one looked a little inside to me, but all right. That brings up Cochran now. And hits base hit up the middle. Now batting the first baseman. Number eight. Quinto now steps in, one for two today. Cochran actually runs pretty well there at first That's base. Inside. Ball inside. Hale, a lot of movement here on his stats. He's a kind of a different uh, end of things here. Almost hit to the right side. Now batting, and the ball third base steps in. Two today the single. And Hale's pulled. I was just going to say, he's around 60-some pitches here in the top of the fifth. So Nixon comes in, I believe, from Damian Hale. And the long throw steps up. Two on, no outs, top of the fifth. And base hit right up the middle. They send the runner. And play the plate, out. Whew. Jericho dozen rolls with the gun there in center field. Inside. So one out now. Joaquin Buck steps up. Runners on first and second. And a base hit through the left side. Base is now loaded. Now the short For Tugger Gentry. 388, six homers, 18 RBIs. And that one gets away from Kai Best behind the plate. Run comes home. Marauders now lead it 3-1. to one. Costly mistake there. And again, gets away from Best. Rough, rough inning behind the plate. So bases again loaded. Xerox Liu steps in. He's juiced. Hitting 290, two homers, 10 RBIs. The 1 2 pitch. And now the 2 and 2. Infield playing in. They can turn 2 to pace to Proctor. Double play. Bases left loaded for the Marauders. They get another run. They lead it three to one. Number 40. So go here to the bottom of the fifth. Shepard Pace steps in. Sold out crowd here tonight at the motor yard. 
Rollers fans have really been packing the stadium lately. Ooh, just foul down the left field line. And Pace strikes out. But yeah, these fans have really been supporting the team. They've packed the, packed the stands. Hoping to maybe bring home the championship. As Hudson Hopkins steps in. And here's the 2 1. Popped up. Gentry's there, but puts it away for the second out. Brings up Madden, 0 for 1 today. And the 1-1 pitch. Now the 2-1. Fouled away. Got him. Madden down on strikes. Not very happy about it. So we travel now to the top of the sixth. Stetson Fuller will lead it off the Marauders. Six, seven, and eight do up. And that one's hit, but right up front for the first out. Of the last two games the Marauders played, they actually lost. Base hit up the middle. I'll give you guys a gauge on Who's hot, who's not? Steamrollers won the last three games they've played, so they've been on a streak. Tater Pepperoni steps in now. They check on the runner, safe. Nope, no. And a 1 1. And a 1 2. Tied him up inside the one two pitch. And got him. Nice movement. And that pitch from Nixon. And we're going to have a pitching change. Real steady coming in. The relief of Brash Nixon. He's pitching well. Stats were going down quite a bit, though. Check on the runner again. Two outs. Runner on first. It goes. And doesn't matter. Struck him out. So nine, one, and two do up here for the home team steamrollers. Marauders still lead at 3 1 here in the bottom of the sixth. Two one pitch. And it's base hit up the middle. Now Rollers with the base runner. Kurt Johnson Number steps in now. Ball inside. With the fans in the crowd cheering on Johnston. Two one. And 3-1. Goffed 55 pitches now. Walks Johnston. So the Rollers have a pair of base runners. There's a jerk of dozen rolls. 0 for 2 today. And I cannot believe Flavio Goff only has 55 pitches. It's pretty darn good here for the bottom of the sixth. Now let's hit the pepperoni to see if they can turn two to Gentry. No chance to get dozen rolls there at first. So runners in the corners, one out, Banjo Crane steps in and hits that one right in. Long throw, for the second out. And that brings up Annika Proctor. That might have been the pitch to hit, one and one. And now the two run to Proctor. And 3-1. Very high strike. The crowd did not like that one. Take your base. And she's walked. Safe. So the base is loaded now. Rockette steps in. He's one for two today. Number three. Inside. 
real chance. Ball, Tie the ball game, break it open. And 3-0 to Rockette. Fouls that one away. 3-1. Popped up. Sky high. Gentry goes over and makes the catch for the third out. Top of the order now to up for the Marauders here in the top of the seventh. By the Quinto. Two for three today. Two singles. Base hit up the middle. Quinto having a good game. Three for four day. Now down, the third baseman, number and 46. Long throw steps in. Two for three as well. The one two pitch. Got her. Joaquin Buck steps in. He had a home run today. It's three for three. He run two singles. Had a good day. Let's hit right at Dustmores for the second out. Now batting the shortstop, number 29. Brings in Gentry over two today. That's inside. See though, Gentry's numbers. He's had a heck of a season. And 3 0. Fouled away. 3 and 1. And Steady's working back. Full count now, Gentry. Nubs it right back to Steady for the final out. So, Steamrollers hoping to make something happen here at the bottom of the seventh. It's their last chance. 6, 7, and 8 are two up. Shepard Pace. And we're going to have. Marauders closer, Brennan Dickerson, come in. No. Ooh, Shepard Pace, it's kind of like a safety swing. It looked like it was going to hit him. 3-1. And he walks Pace. He's up Hudson Hopkins. Over for 2 today. One, two. And we reset. Gentry to Pepperonis. Quinto for the double play. And just like that, folks, Steamrollers are down to their final out. Xerox Madden steps in. Is it a high strike from Dickerson? And got him. Long Ephus pitch on the outside outside corner. Marauders win. The battle of first place teams. Marauders win over Steamrollers. 3 10 and 0 is the line for the Marauders. 1 2. Oh, as I drop my mouse. <laughs> Scare our Cheese League mascot Cooper. <laughs> one and two, or one, two and oh, for the Steamrollers. Didn't even realize the Steamrollers only had two hits. Holy cow. That is, you know, that's uncharacteristic for them because they have been exceptional, especially with run differential. They've really stepped it up, gotten a lot of hits lately. So that's pretty darn interesting. Take a look here at the offense side of things. Three for four day for Lila Quinto. Good day. Random long throw of two for three. Get two strikeouts though too. Keep Buck three for four. Of course the home run. And then you get down to Plows and Cochran. Both had a couple of hits. Most of the hitting though coming from the top three in the lineup. Ten of those hits. They had six strikeouts though on the Marauder side. And for the Steamrollers, the only hits coming from Chuck Rockett and Kai Best. They 
had six strikeouts. That's a walk four times, so. Flavio Goff gets that second win. Hale drops the three and two. And Dickerson gets his sixth save. I think he's actually now our saves leader. Look at our top three players. Joaquin Buck, three for four day. Homer, two RBIs in the run. Goff, of course, six innings pitched. Two hits, one earned run, three walks, and then Lava Quinto, three for four, two runs. So the Marauders then, they proved the record of 14 and eight. The Rollers dropped to 12 and 10. So each team has two games left in the season. A lot to see what that does, especially in that very, very tight Cheddar division. Want to see what this does and uh, how this loss here for the Rollers impacts any of that. I know some of, the, some of those teams have been playing well. The top of that division too. It's all knotted up there. It'll be very, very, very interesting once we uh, get down to it. All right, folks, that is it for me today. Hope you guys enjoyed this game. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to our channel. Keep Cheese here on YouTube. That's your home for Cheese League Baseball. Be sure to watch, uh, follow us too on Twitter at geek underscore cheese where you get all your Cheese League Baseball news and updates, especially as we come down to it. Playoffs are coming up pretty quick. This is game 109. I'm Greg, and that's it for me today, folks. Have a good one. Marauders win. Take care. Bye.